What is up, Madden 25 gamers? Today we're going to be talking about how to kick return in Madden NFL 25. And what we're going to be talking about is the first and foremost, you want to pick the play return middle. Kick return middle, we want to do that uh, so that we can get a consistent read as far as what we're going to be getting when we kick return. Uh, second, obviously, you want to have a good kick returner back there. But uh, third, what you want to do is you just saw there is I took the guy that's going to be lead blocking uh, for, the kick, uh, for the kick returner and I put him, uh, I kind of clicked onto him by hitting circle twice after they kick so circle circle I'm gonna take him and run him out to the outside on the side I want to run to then I'm gonna take my running back I'm gonna, I'm gonna you see how I'm wiggling him uh, as I'm running with him and then I'm gonna do that nice spin move and it's gonna get me to the edge uh, in order to get outside and so um, really first and foremost you want to focus on that circle circle get that guy to the outside then once you get the ball you're gonna again you're gonna do the wiggle just kind of wiggle with your guy and then, uh, that's a terrible example there. I got messed up. But uh, you do want to do the wiggle stuff because that wiggle stuff is very important. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's do one time here without using our wiggle trick uh, with wiggling the running back. Watch what happens. We just run straight. Watch what the blockers do. You see how they don't block anybody. They just run straight. You see that? If you wiggle, they go towards a, They actually go towards one of the sides. They pick a side and go to it. And more than often, it's the side that you want them to run to. So, swerve this guy out. Wiggle your guy back and forth. And then, when you get up here to this point of engagement, you want to do that little spin move. And that was a bad, another bad example uh, because I'm, I, I'm a little excited about the video. But uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, hold a left trigger. And then you want to just make that sharp cut. Now, sometimes it is what it is, and you, you know you're not going to be able to break two or three tackles. Uh, you're shooting to try to only have to break one tackle. If your blockers do what they're supposed to do, that's why the the swerve is so important. And then here you break one tackle, and then you you're off, and um, you, you're trying to get outside here. I uh, actually returned a kick uh, the last time I was trying to record this. I actually, returned one in my Madden Ultimate Team game, uh, and I'll try to maybe cut a clip of that and show it to you. But basically, I did this right here. I did this. I came up, sucked them in, and then I got outside just like that. You see that's the potential that this play has. Uh, if you do it right, you can break that edge. And, and again, here, let's talk a little bit more about the spin move and what we're doing. Let's take a look at that in instant replay because that's a really good example of what this spin move does. So first and foremost, please note that once the ball is kicked, watch what happens. So I'm clicked on to Sproles here. I'm going to hit circle twice. Watch. As soon as it's kicked, I hit circle twice. I click on to this guy. Now watch what I do. I'm going to bring him out. I'm going to move him out to the outside. That's pretty obvious, okay? Then I'm going to get the ball. Now watch my player. Watch his movements. You see how they're swerving back and forth? Watch his legs. You see how they're swerving back and forth? Because I'm trying to set the blocks up. Look, Watch the blockers. Watch how they're going to kind of actually go block somebody as opposed to what I showed you earlier. Now I'm going to spin. So I'm going to hold left trigger. At this point, I'm holding left trigger and I'm going to flick that right analog stick to the right as if I was going to juke but then I'm going to before I actually let go I'm going to quickly rotate it all the way to the left so down to the left like a like a clock and basically spin it around so that I go to the outside so I go from 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock on a continuous movement on the analog stick so hopefully that makes sense and you see how that spin move works and I get to the outside and from there it's all speed and it's all uh, can you get the edge okay so you want to have guys like Gavin Hester, Darren Sproles, guys like that that can actually finish the play after you get them to the outside but the best I can do for you in the video is get you to the outside you see the swerve 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 here I actually changed up my move because of, of where I was kicked to I went with the juke there uh, you can that's just a precision modifier juke but um, so when, when it's kicked to the outside I find that works a little bit better than the spin but here you see the swerve swerve and then the I accidentally juke there that was on accident but I meant to do the spin move but you should see this guys if you don't see what I'm trying to show you uh, let me know in the comments below if you're not trying to if you're not really seeing what I'm trying to do here but basically I'm swerving my guy back and forth so that they will they will go on there and then I'm gonna try to break one tackle by hitting that spin move and uh, sometimes that's gonna happen where you're gonna get a really bad animation and uh, if you're try hard like me you'll run backwards until there's nothing left to run to but uh, here let's see if we can get another example see that spin move and um, as you saw on that replay guys that's 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 the prime example of what I'm trying to show you is you're holding left trigger but uh, as you're doing the spin move and you're basically gonna try to juke and then cut back to the outside you see that false step real quick let's take a look at that in instant replay uh, because I do want to show you this because it's so essential to this tip um, you know this may not be the only way to kick return and this may not even be the best but it's the best that I've found to do watch Robinson so here I'm just gonna run the play real quick get down here now watch what happens when I do this spin move watch this watch this watch his hand 
Watch his hand. See how it falls down? That's going to give you that extra mile, but you have to make the spin move. You don't make that spin move, he's not going to take that false step. We were using the back juke until it got patched, but uh, as you can see, the spin move can provide the same basic effect, and, but you have to hit it crisp. You have to hit it really hard because if, you, if you're if you too exaggerated on your juke portion of that spin move, then what's going to happen is, as you just saw, he's going to knock. He's not going to fall step. He's just going to make the tackle on you, and then you're going to be commenting, oh, this doesn't work. But you see that spin move. Look at that, and then you get to the edge, and you try to get outside. Obviously, guys, you're not going to break every single kick, but you will break some, and that's, the, that's what I'm trying to get across to you. This is the best way to return kicks because it gives you that opportunity to at least have a shot at, at something that otherwise you didn't have a shot at even attempting to do because there was no way to return kicks uh, if they kicked it deep down the middle. So this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to give you some insight on how I play. This is what I do. This is my personal way to return kicks. And in the video that I just recorded on my Madden Ultimate Team, you saw it pay dividends. I got a uh, kick return if you were watching that live stream, which by the way, uh, as as we're in the middle of this tip here. If you're not following me on twitch.tv, twitch.tv slash cnballard051. Link is in the description. Check it out and you will see uh, some more Madden Ultimate Team gameplay as the time goes on. But that is all we've got for you guys today. I just wanted to break down this simple but effective kick return tip. And it's a lot of user skill. It's a lot of stick work. But it's the best way that I've found to get the false step and to potentially get you off the edge and get you to be scoring touchdowns on the kick return game. Now you may not be scoring touchdowns, but you will be getting positive yards and you will be uh, obviously keeping yourself out of harm's way for the hit stick because you're on the edge, you're not on the inside, and there, that's the potential you get. You see, you get the edge, and then you get to the outside, and you got to make one more guy miss, and that's a touchdown. That's what I'm getting at. That's what I'm getting at with this tip, and let me know if you guys like it. Let me know if it was beneficial. Let me know if you can even do it. Let me let me know if, if this tip was maybe a little bit too advanced. Uh, let me know. I just want your feedback. I want to know that. Uh, I want to I want to be helpful. I don't want to I don't want to just be someone that's just sitting here saying, oh, I'm great at Madden, blah blah blah. I want to help you guys get better at the game, and the only way I can do that is to let you let me hear from you that what I'm doing is actually helping you. Is this tip beneficial? If it is, let me know in the comments below, guys. But that's all I've got for you guys today. Sorry I got a little bit excited, but uh, I am pumped up about this season. I'm pumped up about what the channel has coming to offer. So if you're not subscribed, if you're not following me on Twitter, do all of that right now because you're going to want to not miss what we have coming soon. We've got Madden Ultimate Team gameplay. We've got real tournament gameplay gameplay we've got interviews with some of the best players in the business we got breakdowns we got team schemes we got all these things coming and so you definitely want to subscribe and check that out but guys as for today this kick return tip once again you want to uh, get this guy out wide you want to get on this guy you want to swerve him back and forth as you're running you want to make that hard cut there and you're hoping that you hit it just right and try to get to the outside if you don't you get tackled and you're you go on offense and you dominate them because we all know how dominant the uh, Arizona the scheme has been this season for us and then you see there's that cut there's that edge there's a seal and now we're to the outside so that's the potential that this kick return tip has let me know if it was beneficial by leaving a like rating below thank you so much for your time thank you so much for all the time that you guys put in the lab and i hope that it pays off for you in man 25 and even more uh, fluently in man 15 and all the men's to follow hit me up on twitter thanks guys for watching we'll see you later